All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x is equal to 147. So to start, I'm gonna factor out seven to the power of x. So I get seven to the power of x times one plus one plus one is equal to 147. So soon as seven to the power of x times three is equal to 147. Now from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by three. So seven to the power of x is equal to 147 divided by three is going to equal 45, sorry, not 45, 49. So I get seven to the power of x is equal to 49 and 49 is equal to seven squared. So I have seven to the power of x is equal to seven to the power of two, meaning x is equal to two. All right, so in this video, I'm solving the equation x to the power of three is equal to three to the power of three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by subtracting three to the power of three on both sides. So now I get x to the power of three minus three to the power of three is equal to zero. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this turns into x minus three times x squared plus three x plus nine is equal to zero. So now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus three equals zero and x squared plus three x plus nine is equal to zero. So obviously for x minus three equals zero, x is equal to three. So this is one solution. And now for x squared plus three x plus nine equals zero, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this turns into negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 9, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 27 over 2, which is equal to negative three plus or minus the square root of 27 times the square root of negative one over two. Now 27 is the same thing as nine times three. And the square root of nine is three, so I get x is equal to negative three plus or minus three root three. And the square root of negative one is actually equal to the imagined number i. So these are two more solutions to this equation. 